All right. Hello, hello. Did I close my door? I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, I did. All right, cool. And it is going. It is up. So, today... Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Today, the project is... I have a part to make. Alright, so essentially the door handle for the freezer door on my refrigerator is broken. So it keeps breaking. It keeps cracking off. So I've been tasked with making a new one. So I'm going to be taking some dimensions down and seeing if I can 3D model it. And print a new one. Well, let me get my comments up here. There we go. All right. It's got two bolt holes recessed and a a notch in it that kind of shows where the edge of the freezer door is that it kind of lines up with. So. We'll see. I'm going to do everything in millimeters. Because millimeters are the best. Uh, except. Uh, yeah, I think this is. This was a metric type thing here. Let's see. Looks like 125. No, not quite 125. 124 millimeters center to center. All right, let me just get started with the overall dimensions here. I got to think about how I want to print this. So if I print it, if I print it the way that makes the most sense, I would put the flat top side down. It would also have the nicest finish, although the curved edge where you actually grab it with your hand, the part that gets seen would not likely be rough since it would be an overhang. You would have to have supports or just look messy. It'd also be weaker that way because, um, well, I mean, the way it broke before, the layers would be pretty strong that way. Um, I'd have to print it like the stupidest way possible to make it not as strong. But what would be the strongest is to print it vertically. So let me let me start designing here. So let's start a new sketch. And we're going to use this plane here. Let's get it nice and small where this all makes sense. All right, let's open our sketches up. We got sketch one. We're going to go from this point. And let's make a let's make a rectangle. Two point rectangle. Let's start at the first corner here. All right. <coughs> Turn that off. No. No, I don't want that anymore. All right, let's see. Let's. Oh, it's been a while since I used this. Where's our dimensioning? Constrained show. No, 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 no. It's up here. It's up here, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. I am so bad at this. I haven't done this in ages. Not inspect. Oh, gosh. What was it? It's um dimension. Sketch dimension right here. All right. Boom. Dimension one. Josiah, this stream is just me uh, making a freezer door handle. So, let's see. This dimension. Uh, I have a very crude ruler here. I'm trying to line this up. Looks like a just about... Oh, man. You know, I'm beginning to think this might be easier to do a different way. You know what? Cancel that. Now I'm going to go back, 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 back. Let's start this over again. 
line because I think this would actually be much easier if I went about like this all the way down here and then up like so out down and across all right now yes uh not, i mean i wouldn't say i'm big into it but uh it is a pastime of mine oh gosh uh, cancel all right now i need to constrain this as being horizontal no horizontal all right that's horizontal this is going to be vertical ah Okay, I have that as a right angle, so I don't need that to be horizontal. I already have this coinciding. Yeah, I'm trying to make a freezer door handle. This is a side view of it. Oh, rather, it's the top view looking down because it's going to be printed vertically. Let me. I'm just trying to get a rough sketch in here first. I'm going to dimension it right now. So let's call this dimension. See, it has to be able to fit underneath the, the refrigerator door. Hey, Rickster, what's up? Um, oh gosh, I want to call it 7 millimeter. Let's call it 7 mil. All right, so this is 7 mil. <laughs> that looks way off. All right. Oh, this is going to be a real, real rough estimate here. Oh, I have to make that ridge there too, don't I? Dang, okay. Um, I need to edit this whole sketch. All right, let me, let me get the whole length shebang in here too first let's see this is about oh i want to call it 85 let's call it 85 this right here is going to be 85 oh geez <laughs> oh geez <laughs> yep okay <laughs> oh man alive uh i have considered using blender but you know, I'm, I'm using Fusion 360 for now because right now it's free. But when Fusion 360 goes away, I'll probably use Blender, to be honest. Because it's it's like freeware, isn't it? Alright. Now this. Let's estimate this height. It's going to be about, let's call it 25 mil. So 25 here. Boop. <laughs> this looks really awful. Um... I really, I do need to trim this up a little bit because, oh, this is not how it should be. Trim. Let me get rid of this line real quick. We go back to a line. Now, because it's got to have a ridge in here. Now, now, now. Boom. Okay. Uh, we got, yeah, so I'm going to probably switch to Blender at some point. It's not quite as sophisticated from what I've seen, but and it takes a bit of getting used to, but then again, Fusion takes quite a bit of getting used to as well. So, there's that. Alright, now how do I dimension this as to avoid messing up everything? Hmm. Well, I'll probably do this thickness. I'll do this thickness first. Let's call it... Hmm, what do I want to call it? On the original handle... You use DaVinci Resolve? Okay. I've heard of it, yes. Um, I could never run it on my garbage laptop that I had prior. Now I probably would be able to on my computer. Um, the other one was GIMP. I used GIMP for a little bit. Okay, how thick to make this? Let's see. Mm, let's call it like 7 mil. I want to err on the side of thickness, just in case. Let's call that 7 and from the inside of that, oh man, I really got to think. Because I need this to be a precise amount from the end. So let's call that 49. 49 is what it is on here. Oop. 49. Yeah, that's a, you know, I might as well call it 50. 
I might as well call it 50. So this is going to be 50. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Oh, my goodness. Um, come on, you go over here. All right. Now, that ridge. You use your GIMP, yeah. You use GIMP. I mean, you use GIMP for thumbnails and stuff, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. I um, I was never that good at it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, that is not what I wanted. I want to mention this line. I was never that good at it. I mean, I'd probably be able to figure it out now. But like I said, back, back when I was using it, I was awful at it, so... This is really annoying how they put chamfers on this part because obviously they were injection molding it. But the way that they built it makes it really hard to measure because it has all these really annoying spots that are uh, they're just uneven. So it's hard to measure it. I don't want to... My ruler doesn't have a flat end. So it makes this awfully difficult. I want to call it 5. I want to call it 5 mil. Let's call it five. <sighs> um, which makes oh gosh, this come down here, and is going to oh dang, gonna also be five. Oh, yep, five. Thank you, and. Thickness. Hmm. Or does it really need to do that? Because it could just continue the rest of the handle all the way around. It really could. Man, that's a hard decision. Should I build it better than the original? I think I should. But at the same time... Hmm. I don't know see how thick is this rib this rib is let's call it five close enough hey shenry you gonna play later i'm gonna play minecraft later when i've got this done with because i really i don't think these ridges that are in this need to be there i think they're for structural rigidity and if i just make it a solid piece who cares about structural rigidity i'm gonna have plenty of infill anyways so Basically, this part here where this notch is goes on top of where the freezer door is. And then this will stick down as a handle. That's how it is on the original part. So. Yeah, I know. It's been a couple of days, but I'm back. All right. So now that we have that five there, this is about 30, I want to call it. Does that make sense? 55 and 30 gives me 85, but this doesn't make any sense. That like seems like way too much of a gap, but maybe that's just because of the curvature of this thing. <coughs> I'm gonna <sighs> I'm gonna champ for the edges. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I want it to be strong. I want it to resemble the original part, but you know what? I think just chamfering it will be fine because, or maybe fillet it, who knows. And eh, now I'll chamfer. But the original basically uh, has this curve going here, but only on the outside. So the inside has a slight chamfer that's deeper, but on the ends, it's wider. So all this is covered up all the way across. There's a lip around it. Um, but I'm just going to make it as thick as it was on the outside. All the way across, because why not? All right, let's. What's not dimensioned properly? That's twenty-five. So I need to give this a dimension. Is that right? So twenty-five minus seven. Wait, why isn't that dimensioned? That that should know what it is. What? Why? You shouldn't be able to. Oh, what? What the heck is that? Ah, nah, nah. No. No. You. You are perpendicular. You are perpendicular. Thank you. 
how did you get away with that? All right, now it's all constrained. All right. Finish sketch. I should save this. Um. Bah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. Freezer door. Handle. There we go. Save. Cool. Admin project. Awesome. Now. Extrude. Approximately. Let's see. One, two, three, four, two. If I want to call it two, I don't want to. It's over two ten, but it's not quite two twenty. It's not quite two fifteen either. It's more like two thirteen. That doesn't seem right though. Two thirteen is not two fourteen. It's it's two fourteen. Who makes a part two hundred and fourteen millimeters? The heck. All right, uh, hold on. How much did they make it in standard? Maybe, because it also works out to be eight and three eighths. Eight and no, yeah, eight and three eighths. That's what that comes out to inches. So I guess maybe they did make it standard. But oh gosh, no. Um, rotate. Please, no. Rotate this way. Thank you. All right. Now you see this handle the way it should be. All right. Let's. What's this? Enters form mode. Form a feature into the timeline. Use tools to create a spot. Free bodies pushing and pulling. No, I don't think that's what I want. I don't want T-spline. All I want is... Fillets. I just want to fillet everything. <coughs> this one. This one's going to be. Ooh, what radius should I do? 10? What's 10 look like? Oh gosh. No. No. I didn't want a contingency. No. I'm filleting here. Hey! Dang, okay. Well. I forgot I have to hit shift to do this. No, I need to edit that fillet. Fillet. How do I edit you? Here we go. Edit feature. Oop. I also want to select what the heck why there yep go in that way why won't you let me bruh okay I really almost wish this would be like 15 yeah and the other one can be 15 as well. But that might not look as good. Yeah, it's going to be a little... little chunky, to be honest. I can't really measure... Uh, that looks better. 20 and 15. Oh, gosh. No, no. I keep forgetting to press shift because it's backwards of what I want it to be. All right. Let me do another fillet. All right, and I need to do this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. No, I don't want to do that edge actually. Nope. Um. Oh gosh, no. But I should do this edge, right? I mean, I don't have to. I guess would probably be nicer too. And I will chamfer this top edge here as well. 
We'll chamfer all the way around here. Oh, you know what I should have done? No, so one of them has to be flat because I have to print it on that face. So I actually need to fillet this edge because of where it needs to get placed on the build surface. And then... And then I will uh, I'll flip it over in, in Cura. All right, all of these should be like what five mil. That's not right. That's a little too much. Maybe three. Three looks a lot better. Three looks about right to be honest. All right, we're gonna call that three mil. Now, last thing is on the, oh goodness, on the, come on, this face, this face, all right, front face, plane, new sketch. This is going to be the hard one here. What time is it? Am I almost there yet? Oh, it's 6.17. All right, perfect. All right. So, on this plane, first we need to define edges. Um, You know what? I'll just create a, s a circle. I'll just, I'll just make holes here. Um, a larger hole is going to be, I'm just going to call that 10. That's close enough. And I will create another one over here that's also 10. Wait, what? Did I not dimension that? I just, wow, I'm an idiot. All right, cool. All right, this is going to be concentric. Concentric smaller circle. We'll cancel that, <coughs> and we'll start dimensioning. All right, now, <sighs> because I already, yeah, okay, I can still measure from that edge, cool. So on this plane, first we're going to call these big holes are 10. That was maybe a mistake since now I can't click the other hole, the other one. Okay, maybe I can. And we'll call that, that's a small hole. That is a small hole. I don't know. Five? Five sounds right. Let's go with five. All right. Let's go with five. Oh, boy. So we'll change this to five first. We'll change the other one to ten. Cool. We got five and we got ten. Beautiful. Now to constrain them laterally and vertically. They are, uh, well, top one. Let's go, let's do the top one first. Let's bring it right in close. No, actually, the bottom one's the one that matters because it's going to be on the edge. The edge needs to be flush. So, for this hole, oh gosh, the broken edge makes this hard, but... It's more accurate to measure from the edge. However, it's more it makes more sense to measure from the center. Um, well, if I know it's a five millimeter diameter, I can just add two and a half. So let's do that. We're gonna go forty. I'm gonna call it forty nine, and maybe let's see. It's more like it's impossible to call. But honestly, it looks, like, it looks like 42 to the middle. 44? No, it's like 41 and a half. No, 42. Which makes it, would make it 44 to the center, I guess. So we'll go from the middle edge to the center and we'll call it 44. Alright. And then, and this is the downward side here. So then we will call it 
from the outside. I mean, no, from the... Wait, did I measure that right? Yeah, I did. That's 44. Goodness. Go losing my mind over here. Let's see. What's this dimension? Oh, gosh. 230, 31, 32 and a half, maybe. Gosh, it's hard to tell. This is this one, which means in from this way. Yeah, okay. It really does look like 32 and a half to the center. All right, 32 and a half over here. Okay, 32.5. Boom. Fully defined as all things should be. Um, now I'm going to define the other hole off of this one because the width is what's important. So edge to edge, I'm going to call it 119, 119. And on center, on center about 128, no. No, 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 no. 119, 124. 124 on center. Goodness, my, my brain is broken. Okay. Vertical distance. Yes, 124 on center. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now... Now to put this to the center again, and we'll do the same as the other one, 32.5. That should put them all constrained and in alignment. We will finish that sketch. We will call this sketch holes. Okay. And then we are going to do an extrude cut. All right. Why is this a thing? Yes, on this. No, this is not the tool I want. I just want to do extrude because I already have these holes defined here. Okay, that and this will be countersunk by, oh, I cannot tell that. No, that's going to be a, no, I'm going to have to like guess on that one. Let's call that one millimeter. So if we go from here to there and we say it's seven. Seven minus one, we call that six and halfway. Oh gosh, I can't tell how much that counter sunk by. There's no way. I just can't measure that. I don't have the right tools. Why don't we call it four? Four millimeters sounds like plenty, doesn't it? Yeah, let's call that four. And then, no, that that's going to be leaving only three millimeters of material. Yeah. I'm going to edit that. No, I didn't want to edit the profile sketch. No, no, no. <coughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, excuse me. I'm sneezing. Mm -hmm. Edit feature. Let's call it a three mil hole. Three mil hole. Oh, hold on, but I want to, I want to swap directions. <coughs> no, no.
So I guess I just need to make it a negative. Okay. Oh, there we go. Cut. Okay. Cool. Looking at the end view, that looks right. Okay. And then, do it again. Except these are going to be a minus 7. Cut. Okay. Boom. Ah! I keep doing this. No. Stop it. Why am I upside down? How did I get a, How did I even manage that? How did I All right, there we go. Looking pretty respectable right now actually. Um, let's save her up. Uh, okay. Save as V1. Done. Oh, it's V2. Yeah, it actually saves it as, which makes no sense at all. Whatever. It's done. And I think that should be strong. Enough. Why? How do I keep getting upside down? I swear. All right. There we go. All right. Let me just file export oh no save as no export export type stl yes i know it takes a while <coughs> freezer door handle save it to uh 3D modeling. Yeah, save it there. Save. Export. Alright. That is it. That is the entire process. Ta da. Yes, I am slow. Yes, it's painful to watch. But there we go. Made a part. Now I'm gonna three D print it. As soon as it finishes exporting. <laughs> Alright. That's that. The end.